In this video, watch my first session with a dog who is least reactive and he loves to pull. This is the first time that we're walking this dog from uh, one of our friends. His name is Miles. His issue is leash reactivity. This is gonna be a good, good example right here. Yep, come on. Sit. Oh, come on. Yep, you don't like that. I know. Oh. Sorry. Good. Hey. So the things that we're working, working on with him is leash reactivity towards other people and other animals. Also, he likes jumping. He likes jumping a lot. So jumping is something that's pretty easy to train. It's the hard part about jumping is getting the other people that he wants to jump on to work with you. So if you have a dog that has an issue jumping, anybody that he greets, they need to turn around if he jumps on them. Also, what you could do is step on a leash when, she, when he's about to meet somebody so he can't jump at all. So we're gonna keep going, come on. He likes to pull and, and go ahead. Um, and so I'm gonna do some stop training like this. When he when he hits, the, he, he needs to get the message that he's hitting the end of the leash. Okay, come on. By the end of this walk, I think he's gonna stop when I stop. I know he says. He said that's different. Mm -hmm. So sometimes you gotta be patient. That's all it is. Can you sit? Uh -uh. Yes. Good sit. Good. First things first, I wanna show how we use this leash. Like I said, it's a slippery leash. It needs to be at the top of his neck. Come closer. Can. So it needs to be at the top of his neck, right? Cause this is where you get the most control. A leash down here doesn't give you any control. This is like the strongest part of their neck. The leash needs to be at the kind of the weakest part of their neck so that it actually sends messages, right? We only keep, we keep the leash loose because we want him to be able to walk loose majority of the time. So the leash, this leash is gonna be this loose majority of the time, unless he's walking in front of me. When he's walking in front, we'll make it tight. We'll go from loose to tight, like a bungee rope to send him a message that he hit the end of the leash. This message is fair because it's just how it is. He hit the end of the leash. It's not me being mean. It's just how the world works. So we're just gonna walk. Come on. And so if we, if I want him to walk next to me, that means whenever he starts going ahead is when we send the message. So it's gonna be the first message. Loose. And don't look at him in the eyes. When you when you do that correction, don't look at him in the eyes so that he knows that it just came. It just that's just the world. That's just how it is. Good boy. And when he's next to you, make sure you treat him for being next to you. Mm -hmm. Good. Yes, good boy. He said he, he don't like the Cheerios. Nobody likes the Cheerios. <laughs> yeah, he said, well, give me some of those liver treats. He wants this. Hey. Hey, big boy. Okay, come on. So, clearly, he loses focus whenever he sees things that he wants. This isn't our dog and we haven't had too much time. This is literally the first time we met him and, and we're walking him at the same time. So there's only so much correcting I can really do. I wanna build a relationship before I can actually correct. We don't have any relationship right now. So I'm allowing some more things than I would usually. Mm -hmm. there's, there's somebody up there, show that if you can. When you see people and you know you have a reactive dog, it's good to be proactive. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna purposely start doing the stop test so that whenever we get to the dog, he's ready for it.
sometimes when you do the stop test, instead of looking at him, do not look at him in his eyes. You might just have to start walking the other way. Let's go. This is another good thing to do. Walking back and forth, especially when he starts getting in front like this. That's what we want. Learn quick. Boy, I know you don't want these. Good boy. Sit. Okay. Like I said, I'm building a relationship, so I can't. Yes. Good boy. Good boy. Don't want to correct him too much. I'm a good guy. I'm the good guy now. Good boy. He did good though. Yeah, that was good. He did very good. No barking. No, no too much. He took the correction. This is why we do this because that's an easy correction. Like, doesn't need to be pulling back and forth. None of that. Hey. Okay. Oh, oh gosh. <laughs> Mitty <Mitty-tube>. too. Squirrel! <laughs> Perfect. Did you get that? Yeah, I think Perfect. so. <laughs> so, anticipation is the key to teaching a dog how to walk on a leash. It's anticipation without anxiety, right? I'm anticipating things, but I'm not anxious about it. I'm not scared about what's going to happen. I, I know how I'm going to how I'm going to handle it. Correction has to come when the leash is like this. The leash has to be loose before you make it tight. It can't be like this and then you pull. Like that doesn't send the message like this does. Don't look at me. <laughs> he looked at me like, what's he doing? <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> Thought he was going to get the zoom. <laughs> I just want to run this part back in slow mo because I really was smooth with it. This is exactly what you need to do if you need to get your dog from the right side to the left side.
boy. Good boy. <laughs> uh, I'm not laughing at you, I promise. All right, here's a little butt flip. It's one of the things that you gotta do if he's not looking at you and you want him to. There you go, I just turned him. Now we're gonna put him in a, yes, yes. So he did good, but then he broke the sit. But we need to make sure that I'm the one ending this, this transaction. Nope. Yes. Good. Okay, come on. That's, that's imperative. Even if he gets through it and he wants to break the sit or whatever you put him in, don't let him break it until you give him that permission. So like you just saw, he broke my sit. I put him back in it. He broke it. I put him back in it. Then I release. And now we're good to go. All of the things that I'm doing right now, the leash training, the sit training, the making sure that he listens to me, this all plays a part in making sure that your dog isn't reactive. Because when they listen to you and they listen to the tools that you have, there's no room to be reactive. Even if he is reactive, he's listening to you. So you can put him into a sit if he tries to get too reactive.